I think in the end, we just got lucky. I, I think there were several uh, opportunities where things were spiraling out of control that neither Khrushchev nor Kennedy nor the militaries of each had any idea what was going on. Um, there's one incident, for example, aboard some uh, diesel submarines that got quite close to um, firing a, a nuclear weapon. And uh, it was only at the intervention of uh, one of the officers who uh, put his foot down and, 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 and calmed down the captain who was all ready to, to fire this nuclear torpedo, which would have um, sunk definitely American ships in the uh, Caribbean uh, around Cuba and uh, uh, who knows what, what else uh, and would have launched a series probably of escalating um, uses of nuclear weapons. So looking back on the whole thing, I, I think the best advice is, uh, you know, we don't want to go down that road again and uh, we have to do everything to avert uh, it happening. And I think in the aftermath of the Cuban Missile Crisis, the United States leaders and the uh, Soviet ones did put into place some safeguards. Uh, the following June, June 63, we have the, the hotline, which is a way to directly contact one another. Uh, we have the beginnings of some serious arms control, the test ban treaty, and then later in the decade, um, what were called the SALT talks and the SALT treaties, which put some uh, rules and regulations in, in, into an arms race that was still rather uh, extensive, but wasn't as bad as it, uh, it might have been.